analysis. So today we'll be seeing you know, the types of variables in research. Okay, there are many um, types of variables. So the basic um, commonly what we're seeing is dependent and independent variable. Um, so we the saying variables could be named differently. Different uh, categories, we fit into different categories based on the context. Okay. So the common um, seen examples or some common seen categories are dependent and independent variable. So usually uh, in, uh, in a very simple manner if we see an article, we see the table, the variables on the x-axis will be dependent and variable and variables on the y-axis will be independent variables. And um, to explain it, variable which is dependent on other variables dependent and they are being as independent as independent variable suppose patients general anxiety patient has general anxiety um, patient we are checking general anxiety and other factors so dental anxiety is dependent variable Factors like um, patients, age, gender, socioeconomic status of the patient, patients' previous dental visit, such factors will be independent variable. So this dental anxiety is dependent on this called independent variables. So independent variable or it will be the cause and dependent variable will be the effect. So this cause uh, all the cause is written to the effect that this is the underlying anxiety. So this relationship what we are studying uh, on research. Okay, so dependent variable is also known as outcome variable. Dependent variable is also known as uh, explanatory variables. So, usually independent variable, the cause will affect the dependent variable or the result. Okay. So, this is just an example. A tutor is asking under students to complete a maths test. So, this maths test, test mark will be dependent variable, which is depending on the revision time and deadlines. So, these two will be independent variable and output. That is test mark will be dependent variable. So one more example: a study of teacher-student classroom interaction in different levels of schooling. A comparative study of professional attitudes of secondary school teachers by gender. So the first one example: level of schooling, primary, upper primary, secondary, and junior college they will become the independent variable and dependent variable is a score on a classroom observation okay so similarly second case center uh, that is comparative um, of professional attitudes of school teacher by gender so here the independent variable will be gender dependent variable will be score so usually this dependent variable will always be uh, very much uh, quantitative variable. There have been scores you know, like BP, sugar level, like um, pressure level, sugar or pressure level, assessing the dental anxiety, like status, ginger status, dental baby status, these things will be always uh, dependent variable. And the factors which is affecting all this are. Uh, are independent variables okay. so quantitative and qualitative variable quantitative variables are that exist along a continuum that runs from low to high so that will be just like our scores height weight blood sugar level blood pressure level all these are quantitative variables Qualitative words we just cannot express in words, you know, just like uh, gender, 
with the each and the right color of category from the quantitative variables okay so they are actually qualitatives quantitative qualitative variables quantitatives are which are in quantity like height weight blood pressure such things are quantitative and religion eye color gender are the qualitative variables so commonly it is regarded as qualitative and quantitative and this is this classification is very important because it depends on this classification is um, important for our um, test of significance which test is to be done on which data so this qualitative and quantitative data it is important the test of significance one is depending on normality if it is normally distributed we do certain tests and if it is not we do certain tests and depending upon the variable also we do classification for tests of significance so qualitative are categorical uh, variables they are nominal and ordinal quantitative they are interval and ratio so we will see what is what okay so nominal ordinal interval and ratio nominal is nothing but just names uh, variable which is names so variable is nothing but something which changes in a group of people okay so if nothing changes between uh, in, in, between each person in a group of people we cannot say that it is variable so variable is a, a quality which changes within a group of people okay so nominal scale is just by names the common example is gender okay so nominal is like male and female you cannot say that which is better and which is bad there is no uh, comparison can be done between the categories uh, what is your political preferences independent democrat republican where do you live suburbs uh, city or town you just cannot um, distinguish the categories so that is nominal under qualitative variables the second one is ordinal scale this is also qualitative but the difference is here you can compare it because it is placed in order the first second three four the first two will be uh, different from the fifth you, you can do comparison between the categories okay like unhappy very happy so happy and very happy are related one is positive side and one is negative side so whatever side is just like our likert scale the scale we usually apply for our question is likert scale greatly happy very happy uh, very unhappy such things are ordinary scale uh, there is a distinct difference between very happy and very unhappy one is extreme positive one is extreme negative but on the nominal scale we just can't do that distinction between uh, the between the categories of uh, variable so this is one more example uh, like zero is uh, educational classification zero less than high school one is high school then is college college degree plus college so you can say that five is always better than four four is always better than three and two one and zero so this uh, order is there so that is why one as order ordinal variable other one is nominal variable both are categorical or qualitative variable so we had seen we are going to see in test of significance this categorical variable the categorical variable is always uh, calculated or tested by using chi square test okay so the categorical variable nominal or ordinal data will be dealt with chi square test so the next one is interval scale and ratio scale so the interval scale and ratio scale are con uh, continuous data okay so it's just like our height weight blood pressure temperature such things and it will be dealt with uh, other uh, test it's commonly 
the test that continuous test based on the normality t test the test uh, anova test uh, wilcox sandram test so this is nothing but uh, numeric scale with order of variable is known with the difference between these variables so there will be order of variables is known as well as the difference between these variables so i will explain you in very simple manner So on interval scale, the common example is interval and ratio scale. We can take a um, temperature. Temperature is an interval scale uh, because uh, in ratio scale, the uh, thing is the ratio and interval scale. In ratio scale, there will be value of true zero. Okay, true zero means if we say uh, weight is zero means that is absence of weight, there is no weight. Height zero centimeter means that there is the absence of it or if the value says that exact zero. Okay, uh, so it is calculated by assuming that the variables have an option for zero, that is ratio scale. So if you say that 10 centimeter. Uh, 5 centimeter and 10 centimeter so you can say that 10 centimeter is double that of 5 centimeter because you have an option of 0 if 6 and 3 you can say that 6 is double of 3 okay, so there is a reference value 0 but the problem with interval scale the problem with interval scale there is no such option of 0 okay so the value can go to negative so the common example is temperature the okay, temperature will be to negative because in kelvin scale minus um, minus values are possible minus 273 absolute value so the most common example in temperature uh, if uh, we put a air condition in room and the temperature inside is 16 and outside the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. We cannot say that the temperature outside is double hot as the temperature inside. We can just say that the temperature outside is 16 degree more than temperature inside because there is no option of absolute zero. So zero degree Celsius doesn't mean that absence of heat. Okay the temperature can go to negative center also minus 10 degree minus 5 degree uh, minus 20 degree we have seen temperature so zero degree doesn't mean that absence of heat so interval scale is there is no option of zero both are continuous scale only numbers will be considered but in ratio scale there is an option of zero so we can compare the scores so in interval scale there is no option of zero the value can go to negative side so the application is little different so both interval and ratio scale are uh, continuous scale or quantitative data or continuous variable so it can be used uh, in statistical testing by using d test and other systems based on the normality okay So this is ratio scale where uh, ratio scale is having uh, absolute zero. Okay, so absolute zero. So that is ratio scale. The question Paul under what is your daughter's current height? Yeah, five feet, five feet one inch, more than six feet. It's also comes under uh, categories. That is um, ordinal data ratio scale and ordinal data uh, same as here it is also no ratio scale and ordinal data so some data will fall into both the places because categories are there less than 50 category 51 70 category 
so it will become order ordinal data because going in an order at the same time this is ratio scale also there is an absolute zero option okay getting my point okay so this is what continuous variable and there is something known as um, extraneous variable also extraneous variable or third variable okay. so suppose we are taking uh, two variables one is dependent and one is independent so all the other variables are, are becoming third variables which uh, are also known as confounding variable concealing variable so which can affect both the independent and dependent variable that is means uh, both outcome and cause so such variables effects are very important in research so this confounding or extraneous variable uh, I have to be dealt very uh, cautiously otherwise our results will be totally flawed so extraneous variables or confounding or third variables are important so uh, main variable dependent and dependent and variable because sometimes we study uh, the eating habit and blood, uh, blood pressure of a person so eating habit is independent and blood pressure is dependent variable and we are doing a study and we are finding out some odds ratio but the odds ratio what we get might be different than the actual one because blood pressure is also affect also influenced by patients family status patients sudden lifestyle patients other systemic diseases uh, and it is also influenced by uh, patients lifestyle patient sedentary lifestyle more tend to be uh, eating uh, uh, other junk foods or more tend to be on smoking so some factors which influences both independent and dependent variables so when we need to uh, obtain a very clear picture we always have to include the extraneous or third variable or the confounding variable so extraneous variable also known as third variable or confounding variable which is uh, part which will be part of the study so we need to highlight it that can be done using regression analysis okay so it is also known as confounding variable because it actually conceals actual effect because there will be effect of uh, blood pressure uh, by the patient's eating habit but there are many factors which affects both eating habit and blood pressure so that also should be considered so that's all about uh, in our uh, types of variables the commonly uh, seen type of variables are dependent and independent variables mm -hmm. so dependent which is depending on other variables and then we have qualitative and quantitative variable that is continuous and continuous and this one this is the most common one this is most common continuous and uh, categorical so qualitative will be always categorical some are not written here so qualitative is categorical so nominal and ordinal two categories quantitative is continuous interval and ratio ratio the absolute zero is possible uh, the 5 centimeter and 10 centimeter scenario 10 centimeter is, it is as double as 5 centimeter interval uh, scale is absolute zero is not possible it's like temperature 32 degrees celsius is not double hot as 16 uh, degrees celsius you can say just to 16 degrees celsius more it's negative temperature is uh, possible here in ratio zero means absence of it uh, absence of like uh, that zero option is possible okay so these are the common examples nominal scale and ordinal scale interval and ratio are important for statistic testing and uh, we have uh, last one the extraneous or third variable or confounding variable which is which will be part of other Okay, so it will pop up or study most commonly what to be dealt in regression analysis okay
so there are many types of uh, classification or many different different names are there you can always keep in mind that the common thing is dependent and independent variable okay this hypothesis testing the results will be uh, dealt on dependent and independent variable and variable which is not involved directly to the study of third variable or extraneous or confounding variables so another classification is whether it is uh, uh, quantitative or qualitative quantitative means ratio of total scale qualitative means ordinal or nominal scale that's the most common classification not so much that is uh, parent okay, thank you